and Wayne Motts from the National Civil War Museum in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, coming to you from the Evergreen Cemetery at Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. The beautiful memorial, the Gettysburg Civil War Women's Memorial over my left shoulder to the right of your screen featuring Elizabeth Thorne, the wife of the gatekeeper, superintendent or caretaker here at the Evergreen Cemetery during the time of the battle. Elizabeth Thorne was here carrying on those duties as caretaker because her husband Peter Thorne was in the army during the Battle of Gettysburg. She lives in the gatehouse with her small children and her mother and father also live in the cemetery gatehouse. On July 1st, 1863, when the Union Army comes to town, she says she cooks dinner for Generals Howard, Slocum, and Sickles in the gatehouse. On July 2nd, General Howard tells her to flee. She will return to the the gatehouse briefly on July 2nd, but please again, then she'll come back here right after the battle, and what a mess this place is. There are Union bodies buried here in the Evergreen Cemetery, which is the civilian cemetery, and her six months pregnant, as shown on the memorial, and her father, 65 years old, will dig graves weeks after the battle for 91 Union soldiers. Six months pregnant, Elizabeth Thorne is digging 91 graves. On November 1st, 1863, her daughter, Rosa Mead Thorne, is born, and that child lives to be 14 years old, sickly, most of her life, and she uh, is buried here inside the Evergreen Cemetery. Elizabeth Thorne dies in 1907, Peter Thorne dies in 1907, and they are both buried here in the Evergreen Cemetery. But here's a story, Elizabeth Thorne, six months pregnant, out here with her 65-year-old father, digging 91 graves in this rocky terrain. I hope you enjoyed this special women's history snapshot for the month of March. Please subscribe here at the YouTube channel. Thanks.